Hey there guys, Zelda42293 here. Welcome to another episode of Love is Strange. In the last episode, we ended up taking our contest photo with Kate up on the roof of the Blackwell dormitories. Uh, and she came over to our dorm and she was asking us about why she was in the photo. And in this episode, we're going to see if we ended up winning the contest. And hopefully we got the best ending because I know this game has multiple endings. Let's go ahead. This is Friday, Friday morning. I show up to Mr. Dog's class early the next day, and half of my classmates are already at their desks. Looks like everyone's anxious to hear the results. Kate's here too, and I'm surprised to see Dana sitting close beside her. I had no idea that they were even friends. The picture book that I brought for Kate the other day is in front of them. They're both grinning ear to ear, looking over the pictures and talking excitedly. It makes me happy to see Kate enjoying her present. It makes me happy to see Kate so carefree again, a complete 180 from last week. Dana notices me and nudges Kate. Kate looks up from the book and stands up, waving me over. Dana gets up too, smiling in my direction, and then winking at Kate before swiftly moving to Juliet's desk. What was that about? Before I can give it any more thought, Kate's standing in front of me. How's it going, Kate? Okay, I barely slept a wink last night. Excited to hear Mr. Dogs announce, announce the winners? I'm hella nervous, but I choke it down for Kate's sake. She's starting to wring her hands, focusing on the floor instead of me. I guess, it's just... You don't think I, you made the mistake, right? Letting me be in the photo? What are you talking about? It looks great. You don't think so? Kate's quick to correct me. I do! It's a beautiful photo, I've just been thinking. I know I'm not the most popular person in Blackwell right now, and I never have the best luck. No one wants to come to my Bible study, and then I get rumors spread around about me. What if I jinx this too? I can feel the hair on my back of my neck rise defensively. Oh, Kate, no. Did one of those boys say something to you? I know it's best to give Kate her space, but I seriously want to find out those assholes and exchange a few words. Not so nice ones. Don't worry, Max. I actually haven't heard from them all week. She actually smiles a little at that. I can tell it's a big relief for her. And me. I never want to see Kate so sad again. That's awesome. So then, what are you worried about? Her smile falters slightly. Last minute jitters, I guess. I know this contest means a lot to you. If you lost because of me, I'd feel like an awful friend. I shake my head. It would be cool if we won, but you know what's even cooler? That I spent this whole week getting to getting a great photo with the, one of the sweetest friends I have. That's all that matters to me. Kate's eyes brighten and my heart feels lighter. You really mean that? Yeah, I do. She exhales a little shake shakily, but she's smiling. Okay, I'll try to calm down before Mr. Dog gets here. Poor thing, she's still nervous. Maybe I should... Uh, let's give her a hug. Let's hug one of them. For good luck? I hold my arms out to her and she meets me halfway. Her arms wrapping gently around my shoulders. She, so she sighs softly against me and I can tell the tension is melting away from her. I pat her head on the back once, softly, before we break away. She looks so much more steady now. Thanks, Max, I needed that. Just remember, no, no matter who wins, I'm really happy with our photo, and that you were the one to take it with me. Bless you, Max. Come sit with me when class starts, okay? I flash Kate a thumbs up before heading turning, head, heading, turning away. It looks like everyone's here now. Maybe I should chat someone else up before class starts. Chloe. What's up, Max? Ready to glory bask? Hey, Chloe, and, um, I hope so. That's the spirit, and if you're hopeful, Kate must be stoked. Well, well we're, we both like the photo. I mean, I think she liked it. Dude, I'm sure she liked it. You took it, and Kate, like, totally loves you. Although she has seen kind of gloom and doom lately. Yeah, um, she has some stuff going on. Don't we all? So which of the four horsemen paid her a visit then? 
Should I be consulting the Book of Revelations, or just... Chloe? Oh, shit. Okay. Didn't know it was serious. Is she, like, okay? I think so. At least I think things are getting better. I'm sure. She must have been thrilled to partner with you, if she's going through shit. Well, she's my friend. Mm-hmm. I know. Though if she keeps giving you that boony look from across the class, I don't know for how much longer. <laughs> boony look? Max, you're seriously so dense. That's alright, though. Anyway, can't wait to see you clean up today. Rachel and I called dibs after Kate on celebrating your gl gr grossly talented self this weekend, alright? You're putting way too much faith in me. No chance. Besides, the three of us need to hang out anyway. I've been meaning to tell you guys something. Something? You're just gonna have to wait and see, right? I'll tell you after you win. Good luck. Thanks, Chloe. Talk to you later. Uh, Rachel. Sup, Max? You've been kinda MIA all week. I've been around, just pretty busy. I dig that. You're really stoked on this contest, huh? You're partnered with... Kate, right? She hosts the Bible study group here, doesn't she? Yeah, Kate Marsh. Sorry, I don't know her name, I swear. I'm just trying to remember if we've ever really talked before. I don't think so. She's not exactly the partying type. Or the punk rocker type. You should introduce us. Really? Yeah! Is that not cool with you? I might be in the Vortex Club, but you know I'm not like them. Okay, she might like that. Kate does a pretty great job looking out for herself, but she hasn't have been having the easiest time of things lately. Classic black, class, classic black hell. Anything I can do? I think maybe the best thing to do would be just reach out and ask her directly. She'd probably appreciate that. Kate already sounds like a pretty cool chick. She really is. And she's an artist, right? I'm looking for someone to design me a new tattoo. You sure know how to make a first impression, Rachel. I'm just going to take that as a compliment. That's probably for the best. Maybe I'll catch you after class, Max. We can plan a party to celebrate your big win. Thanks, Rachel. And Victoria. Well, if it isn't Caulfield and the Bible Pusher. I'm hardly surprised you two latched on each other. Shove it, Victoria. Can we not do this today? Excuse me? Did you just tell me to shut up? I could try saying it again if that's what you want. Seriously, I'm really not in the mood for your games. And Kate's been a great partner for your information. I couldn't have asked for someone better. Holy shit, am I actually hearing this right? Did the hipster finally grow a pair? Victoria. Fine, chill. Despite what it looks like, I didn't come here only to insult you. Or to. Give me a little more credit for Christ's sake. That's kind of hard to believe when the first words out of your mouth are, you know. Old habits die hard, Max. Live and let live. But don't think I haven't noticed how buddy-buddy you two are. Not that you weren't before. I call it disgusting, but you two are actually somewhat pleasant to watch. Huh? Anyways, I came to wish you good luck. You'll need it since I'm participating after all. Wait, really? Well, um... Thanks. I think I'm gonna do just fine. Especially with the help I got this week. Gross. But I guess that means you're actually putting in effort for once. Hey. I mean it. I'm actually looking forward to the results. Alright, alright, I know you're all excited, but I need to have you all seated. Have I got everyone's photos? Everyone's eyes are on Mr. Dog as, they, as he shuffles through the photos spread out on his desk. I'm really impressed by the amount of students that have entered this year. About half of every class has put an entry in. And now, with these, I can finally start deliberations. Lucky for you all, that means you can use this period to study. The hum of chatter starts up immediately, quietly, and then dies down with some protests and groans. I'm kind of thankful for the opportunity. I put my head down and open my textbook, but although I try to focus, it's pretty hard. 
I guess Kate and I aren't the only ones hoping to win. It feels like the longest hour of my life. Every time Mr. Dog moves at his desk, I think he's about to announce the winners, and I jump a little. When, he's finally, when he finally does stand up, clipboard in hand, I go rigid in my seat. I catch Kate's gaze. She tilts her head slightly to acknowledge me, with a smile full of confidence. She's always believed in me, no matter what. I don't think that will ever change. Goodness, this was so difficult. I know, what, I know that the deadline was short, and that a lot of you devoted so much of your free time this week to your entry. I truly wish that I could have awarded one or more than one winner. The theme of this contest, Bonds, was a broad concept, and I'm thrilled to see so many different interpretations of it here. That's what photography is all about. Personal expression. Showing the world the way you see things. That said, there is one entry in particular that truly embraced this theme. Here, the photographer captures the essence of hope. No matter how dismal your surroundings there, there is always a source of light to be found. My heart skips a beat. Or ten. There's no way they are talking about our photo. The unique vision of this novice photographer makes me think that we'll see some amazing things from them in the future, and hopefully they'll continue collaborating with their partner. So I'm extra pleased to announce that the winners of the second annual Blackwall Photo Contest are Max Caulfield and Kate Marsh. Congratulations! Oh no, no way. Applause breaks out around us, and I can hear Chloe banging on her desk in celebration from the back of the room. Yeah, Chloe, typical you. <laughs> Kate grabs my arm immediately, shaking me a little. Max, that's us! I shocked, but I managed to respond. I, I know! Wowzer! Kate giggles, shaking me gently again. We won, Max! I'm still in disbelief. Mr. Dog sticks the winning photo, our photo, up on the marker board for everyone to see. They all seem so impressed. I feel like I should be pinching myself right now. Kate wraps her arms around my shoulders, giving me the gentlest kiss on the cheek. <laughs> I don't see I think I've seen her this breathless, this excited. Oh, Max, that's your photo up there. I smile back at her. Our photo, Kate. The bell rings and the majority of the class stays to congratulate us. I snap out of my days long enough to talk to our friends for a while. Eventually, Kate and I are alone again. She leans against one of the desks and rub the rubs the back of her neck. Oh my goodness, that was a rush. Crazy, right? I, I can't believe we won. Kate shakes her head. I can. I've always believed in you, Max. Just like you believed in me. I guess that's what makes us a great team, huh? Kate's face lights up. I'm just happy you two have been a part of it. She nods toward our photo at the front of the room. You're already off to a great start, becoming a famous photographer. Just promise you'll remember me when you get out of here, okay? As if I wouldn't want you right there beside me. It's the truth. There's so much in the world that I haven't seen. So many photos I've yet to take. And I can't imagine doing it without Kate by my side. So many people love Kate, and I think she realizes that now more than ever. I just hope that there's a big space for me in her heart, too. You mean that? God, it's hard to think otherwise when she smiles at me like that. Of course, as long as you want to be. There's no place I'd rather be. We lock eyes and I can tell she's serious, confident. I couldn't be happier to see her smiling so much. As I'm about to reply, she gets to her feet. Before we get too caught up celebrating with everyone, let's take a walk. I want to show you something. Where are we going? As if I wouldn't let Kate take me anywhere. I guess you'll have to follow me and find out. Kate playing mysterious is so cute. I put on my best mock offended face. And skip class? Kate Marsh, what has gotten into you? She giggles at me, crossing her arms. Class is over, goofball. I'm not quite as rebellious as you yet. <laughs> it's okay. I can wait. We both laugh. I don't really care if Kate ever changes. She's awesome just the way she is. After a beat, I hold out my hand to her as she takes it, gently pulling me forward. Come on. You trust me, right? Our fingers interlock so naturally. Always. I'm still trying to wrap my head around winning the contest. The only thing that helps is Kate's hand in mine, her gentle warmth feeling more than real than anything. 
I honestly don't think today could have been any more perfect, but she just might surprise me yet. I have no idea what she wants to show me, but with Kate, it can only be something good. In the daylight, her room is even more inviting. She's cleaned up a little and put up some new bright pictures on her walls. She's clearly feeling much better. She takes a seat on her bed, exhaling softly. So, we really did it. Wow. Poor thing. She looks a little overwhelmed. I put my hand on her shoulder and rub it gently. Yeah. You okay? She nods emphatically. Yeah. Sorry, I just... It was so strange being the center of attention. I'm not so sure I deserved it. I sit down beside her, shaking my head. I don't want Kate to have any doubts about how important she is today. Are you kidding? Of course you deserve it. If it wasn't for you in that photo, there's no way we would have won. She looks grateful, but she's still wringing her hands slightly. You did all the work, though. I shrug. Taking a picture? That's the easy part. I couldn't have done it without a perfect muse. I'm so lucky I had you. She pushes my arm playfully, but I can see the blush creeping over her face. Oh, stop. I'm serious. This has got to be one of my favorite photos I've taken. Way better than one of my selfies, right? Hey, I like those selfies. We both laugh at that. Now she looks a little more confident. It is a special photo, that's for sure. I think that's why we won. That's the spirit, Kate. <laughs> Mr. Dog is a pro, after all. He knows these things. The rest of the class must have thought so, too. We got so many compliments on it. She smiles at the memory, and so do I. Kate was so blown away that she was having a hard time thanking everyone. I think she needed that. A little extra kindness to remind her how awesome she is. Well, duh. I think everyone liked it. Even Victoria. And you know how hard she is to impress. Yeah, I guess miracles still do happen sometimes. She looks over at her desk, and I follow her gaze. There is a vase with a bunch of cream-colored flowers with a card underneath it. They look so pretty. I wonder where she got them. Or who gave them to her. Thinking about that gives me a weird feeling. Does she have a... Kate catches me, looking and grins. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I actually did hear from one of the girls I had trouble with last week. She sent me those with an apology note. So, one less bully for me to worry about, huh? This is so sweet, and I can tell that it means a lot to Kate. She doesn't like to hold back feelings, bad feelings toward anyone unless they deserve it. I'm glad one of them decided to shape up at least. Those are really nice flowers too. They are. I think they're tulips. You can have some if you want. I consider it for a moment, then remember little Lisa back in my room. I'd better not. I hardly remember to water my own plant as it is. Kate crosses her arms and shakes her head at me, laughing. Max, shame on you. I look away sheepishly, trying to think of something to distract her. Hey, didn't you want to show me something? That makes Kate's eyes light up. Yeah, that's right. I actually wanted to bring it with me to class, but I didn't want to look like I was trying to outshine your, well, our photo. I smile at Kate, correcting herself. Finally, she's giving herself credit, and she should. So I left this here. She reaches over and takes a small sketchbook from her desk. Remember how I said I had some new sketches to show you? They're actually for a book I've been planning to write. A new children's book, I think. Since you've been such a gift to me this week, I wanted to be, you to be the first one to see it. I take, the sketch, I take the sketch pad gently out of her hands and flip open the first page. I'm glad to see Kate's art hasn't changed one bit. A bright and colorful backdrop with two animal characters adorn the front page, and I recognize the cat from Kate's drawing she showed me on Monday. As I keep looking through my fi as I keep looking through it, my smile gets bigger. Everything is so cute and lively. Kate, these look so adorable. People are going to love it. She gives me a shy smile. Well, um, I owe a lot of it to you, actually. I look up, surprised. Me? She turns a few pages forward, showing me a drawing of the rabbit looking sad. Yeah, your kindness helped me so much after last week. I was in a really dark place, and I didn't know if I could ever feel like my old self again. 
She flips to the next page. The cat and the rabbit are hugging, looking much happier. Are they supposed to be... But you inspired me, so I decided to turn my bad experience into something good. Something that can help other people. That's why this book is about bullying, so other people won't have to feel alone when it happens to them. I look over the next couple pages, more of the same little cat and bunny having fun together. And that's okay to ask for help when they need it. I look up from the sketch pad. Kate truly does look the happiest I've seen her in a while. And, even, and she even has some tr incredible drawings to show for it. I'm glad I could help, but I definitely can't take all the credit for that. You found the strength inside of yourself, Kate. And that's amazing. You're amazing. Kate just beams at that. Hopefully it's getting easier for her to believe. I turn the page to find the next one blank. Sorry, I still have to write the ending. I hand the book back to her. I love it so far. You'll have to let me read it when you're done. I can't wait to see what the future holds for that cat and bunny. Just like Kate and I. Of course, you'll be the first. Maybe you could help me take some photos for it. I want to have some real life backgrounds too. And we seem to make a good team. Like she even has to ask. We make the best team. I'm in. Kate lights up, nodding. You always want me to help. I really appreciate that. I love that about you, you know? You're such a good friend. The L word makes my heart skip a beat for a second. M Max, you okay? She must have noticed. I shake my head, not wanting to worry her. Max, you know you can tell me anything, right? She's right, and I trust her. Kate's always honest with me. So it's important that I'm honest with her now. I do know. And you know something? I have her full attention. I do love helping my friends, but you're different, Kate. She looks at me uncertainly. Yeah? I nod, smiling. Yeah. You're so kind and sweet, and you're always building me up when I need it. You always want to see the best in people and give the most that you can even when you don't feel great yourself. I'm so lucky to know you. Kate's face is getting incredibly pink, and she cuts me off before I can go on. Uh, okay, hold on. I freeze, scared for a split second that I embarrassed her. The smile on her face relieves me. Where is all this coming from? I shrug, smiling. I'm trying to play it cool, even though my heart is beating way too fast. I don't know. I just felt like you needed to hear it. You inspire so many people, Kate, even if you don't realize it. Me especially. Getting to know that side of you all week, that was the real prize for me. Kate looks away from me, speechless. Max, you, um... Oh gosh. She clears her throat and looks me in the eyes. Well, apparently I'm still not as brave as you. You say what's on your mind so easily, but I'm still so shy. I wish I wasn't. I inch closer to her that I can put my hand over hers. Kate, trust me. You don't have to change for anyone. Especially not me. I know that. You're the only one who doesn't make me make assumptions about me. Just because I'm too quiet sometimes, or a Christian. It's so hard to be myself sometimes. So many people are quick to judge me or put me up on some pedestal, but not you. And I know you never will. I'm glad she feels safe with me. I never want to let her down if I can help it. You bet I won't. Especially because you'll be you'll be the first one to call me out on it. Kate smiles, breaking the serious air with a little laugh. That too. Kate toys with a golden cross around her neck for a few moments like she's thinking carefully about something. You know, I'm still really glad you helped pick me to help you. Out of everyone. I really like being around you, Max. More than anyone, really. I cross my arms and give her a mischievous wink. Sure, you don't have just have stars in your eyes because I'm a famous photographer now? She shakes her head. I'm pretty sure. But maybe we should double check. Uh-oh. She inches closer to me so that our legs touch. It sends a jolt through my whole body. 
not exactly a bad feeling either. What? She's has her she says her next words softly, and she's so close that I can feel her breath faintly on my collarbone. So Max, can I kiss you? What? I, um, my heart is doing so many flips that I can barely focus on my words. I mean, I know the answer, but, oh my gosh, Kate just, I hate that I'm stuttering like an asshole, but Kate is so patient, her kind hazel eyes never leaving mine. Finally, I managed to blurt out an answer. Yeah. There seriously needs to be more Ch Marshfield. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. We both grin like a couple of dorks, and I can't stop myself from leaning in. Her lips on mine feel soft and warm. Just like Kate has always been. After a moment, she sighs gently. She sounds so happy. Because of me. I feel one of her hands on my cheek, pulling me closer. And then both my hands are on her face, like we're on the same wavelength. I can feel her gentle hum of approval through her cheeks, making my heart do somersaults in my chest. I open my eyes just in time to see hers flutter open. Her face looks even more precious up close. Okay, yeah, definitely sure. I try to think of something clever to say, but... Same. Feeling daring, I kiss her right on the tip of her nose, making her giggle. <laughs> I guess that makes me more than a good friend. I hope so. I mean, you're much more to me. My face actually hurts from smiling. I guess you're stuck with me then. Kate puts her arms around my shoulders and leans in to nuzzle the nook of my neck, the crook of my neck, and I draw her closer instinctively. Her, breath, her breathy laugh against my skin makes my heart skip again, but this time I'm not nervous. Somewhere between high and completely at peace. I could get so used to this. She sits up straight and looks at me, her smile practically angelic. That doesn't sound so bad. Are you sure? You know I take too many dorky selfies, right? Kate grins slyly. Well... I do some dorky things, too. I like to steal my girlfriend's jackets when I get cold. Can you live up with that? Okay. Stop being cute, Kate. Seriously. I can't handle these feelings right now. I think we'll call it even. We can call it even. I squeeze her hand playfully. I'm sure it'll, sp I'm sure it'll spread some rumors, though. You show up to class wearing my jacket after we just spent the whole week together alone? What will people think? Kate rolls her eyes, shifting closer that she can rest her head on my shoulder. Let them talk. It doesn't bother me anymore. Besides, I think I could live with a rumor about Kate Marsh and Max Caulfield being in love. Just the sound of our names together makes me feel ridiculously happy. Me too. And the best part is, it wouldn't be just a rumor. Kate tilts her head upward to look at me reaching out to touch my cheek as a big grin spreads across her face. This time, Kate pulls me in for a kiss. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, that is like my favorite route so far already. Oh, that is so adorable. Oh, man. Alright, guys. That's gonna. That's the end of the Kate route. Um, looks like we did obviously get the best ending. Um, tune in next time where I'm gonna go ahead and start the Victoria route this time. This will be interesting since you know Max and Victoria always are fighting. Um, subscribe if you like these uh, let's plays. Um, check out the other videos on my channel. Uh, like and favorite this video. Uh, but until next time, guys. Zelda Fort 2293 signing off, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.